Hi everyone. Today we're going to be copying a trans icon and hopefully shedding some light on the amount of just casual transphobia that exists on the internet, but... It'll be okay, baby. We just have to get some trash bags and get back here before anyone's the wiser. Then we can keep recording my album. You know, not in a negative way, but let's just try to... Let's just try to laugh about it. So today we're going to be looking at trans vaccinated people, which are people that are trying to weaponize the fact that trans people exist in order to decry vaccine. You made the same mistake Mickey Rourke made on that catamaran. You didn't kill me when you had the chance. And just being like, checkmate liberals, I identify as vaccinated. So boom, you lose. Unceasing onslaught of dysfunction. Dr. Drew called me unfixable. So we're gonna be taking a look at that today. And as a trans person who is vaccinated. I prefer soul sucking monster. The reason that this is a problem shouldn't have to say it, but the reason that this is a problem is because meaning trans does not affect you, Mary. It doesn't affect you. Whether or not you don't like that trans people exist, I will go about my life, I will not hurt you, I will not harm you. If I was not vaccinated, I would be contributing to the spread of a pandemic that is killing people. Anyway, let's keep going. I am now trans vaccinated. My preverb pronouns are vax and v. Just like how transsexuals can transform, all you have to do is change. Just like how transsexuals can transform. That is all he knows about trans people. I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just that you've never been right before about anything. I know, but I'm sure. So before I get anyone in my comments being like, oh, you don't get it. They're not actually serious. It's a joke. Look. Whether or not these people are vaccinated or not, or just memeing for attention online, they are promoting a dangerous idea and comparing that dangerous idea that is controversial for a reason to being trans, which in my opinion should not be controversial. You know what they say, boys? If you can't stand the heat, get off a of Mickey Rourke sex grill. So whether or not they're taking the piss out of it, we're gonna talk about it. I am now trans vaccinated. Trans. But, oh, that is so funny. It's like how trans people think they're, tr yeah, I get it, because they're not, oh. I made this decision because I felt as though I was being attacked in the world for not being vaccinated. And uh, so I decided to become trans vaccinated. If you agree with me, I appreciate you. And if you have been vaccinated, please accept me as one who has not been vaccinated, but I identify as being vaccinated. He could not have worded this more poorly if he tried. It's a gender dysmorphic by genitalian pansexuality. I mean, this is like torture trying to listen to. That was terrible. I'm going to be constructive here. You should kill yourself. The worst part is, is that he's making it out to be just like, oh, well, just like how trans people just decide to be trans. I'm going to decide to, you know, I hate to break it to these people, but you don't just wake up one day and decide to be trans. It's like, nobody's going to make you do it, man. Oh, oh. Someone get a PA to feed me baby food or I will drop a D in the green. But some people trying to live their life authentically is going to happen, right? Whether you care or not. So maybe you don't use it as an excuse to be shitty to them. You know, at least it would be a lot easier for this guy to get vaccinated than it would for him to be to manage the transition. But you know, he lives in the same world that JK Rowling and D Dave Chappelle all live in, where you just walk into a club, boom, you're trans. You get irreversibly trans, you know? It, it, <laughs> it's like that clip online where some celebrity vaccinates him and he's like, man, now I'm pissed. Like, nobody's gonna do that to you, man. But you know, it would be a lot easier to really transition, man, if you wanted to. Jokes aside, if you need to get vaccinated, if you need to get boosted, it's really easy. Please do it for your sake or for the sake of the people around you. Be safe. According to TikTok 2021, I'm trans vaccinated. <laughs> I'm not actually vaccinated. But I identify as someone who's vaccinated. He did it. He explained it. At least he explained it in less words than whatever that last one was. I mean, 
I mean, this guy just looks like he would look at me funny in a club. Do you know what I mean? Like, he would be, he would be, like, upset with me for walking in there. You ancient bitch. Was that it? Though, maybe he should have used more words. I mean, what, what did he even say? Just, ha ha. <laughs> Trans. <laughs> God. These people treat us like a joke, and then they wonder why trans people are upset. It's it's wonder. It it really makes you think, you know. Mm, I'm not actually vaccinated, but I sexually identify as vaccinated. Okay. Thank hold on, hold on, hold on. Sexually identify as vaccinated, lady. What do you think vaccines are? Don't be so dramatic. That's my thing. And if you take it away from me, I will kill myself, and then you. Maybe that's why these people are so afraid to get their shots. God, because like. It's not that bad, people. You go into CVS, you have a sore arm for a day, you walk out. Everyone thinks that it's like, oh, God. Oh, my God. Wait, but maybe it is a sexual identity because my dad has been telling me on these dating apps that people put their vaccination status, like, in the bio, which is kind of crazy if you think about it because it, it saves time, you know? I wouldn't go on a date with someone that wasn't vaccinated. Sex, money, power, fire, choking, being dragged behind a speedboat. It's all the same thing. And his friend had to break up with a girl because she was vaccinated. Because his crazy anti-vax friend was afraid of having it shed on him. So really, you know, people, maybe this is what they need to do to not tear each other apart. To not fight. She have died when that rabid dog bit her. Oh, it wasn't rabid. I just said that so they'd have to put it down and then I'd be the star of that dog food commercial. I'm so proud of these people's bravery coming out as anti-vax. I mean, just saying that, you know? Coming out as anti-vax, not blaming trans people. We always get blamed. Trans-vaccinated. I'm not actually vaccinated, but I identify as someone who is vaccinated. Do people buy this shirt? <laughs> what a lame black shirt. Let's hold your cigarette while you uncork a Bruce Sky. Uncork a Bruce Sky? Yeah, you know, kazap. Blinky, 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 blinky. Those aren't even the right noises. Everyone knows you hate stuff like this. You're maybe the most high maintenance bitch in Hollywood. Maybe, who's more, who is she? This is the problem with the world. We mass produce shirts like this. When everybody has enough shirts, they could go resale. No, they have to have their weird merch that's making fun of trans people and all the ways that stuff like this creates. Nobody needs another black shirt, let alone one with that monstrosity on it. That's a paragraph. Just to say you hate the pandemic and trans people. A trans vaccinated person. A trans vaccinated person, it's someone who was born into the wrong body. First of all, why does he look like he's being held at gunpoint? <laughs> like he looks like he just like got electrocuted and now is being held at gunpoint. You and me and our biological clocks. You're going baby crazy and I keep getting turned on by car accidents. And I knew at a very young age that I was meant to be a vaccinated person. <laughs> at a young age. Do you, how much you want about this guy actually does have some of his vaccines. He just won't get the COVID vaccine. That's what I don't get about these people. Which vaccine is it? Where, where do you draw the line? A lot of people are upset when they were vaccinated against their will by their parents when they were younger. But now they're the ones that aren't letting their kids get vaccinated. And like, you didn't have to survive measles, lady. Like, now your kid has it. Vaccinated person. So you don't have to go through any hormone treatments or hormone blockers. And you don't even have to take the vaccines or any booster shots. Just like how transsexuals can transform all you have to do is change your status. What? <laughs> oh no. Someone's gonna get more attention than me. Has this guy ever met a trans person? I mean, granted, I am not gonna say you need to physically or medically transition in order to be trans, but like so many of us, we, we get surgery, we go on these exactly what he said we go on these hormones and everything we don't just transform even when people do not medically or like take hormones if they don't transition that way they still tend to present differently they still tend to live their life more authentically and like he sounds like he has no understanding of what a trans person is other than what they like gave him a sheet after electrocuting him and holding him at gunpoint they gave him a sheet and they're just like read from this and he's like just like a trans person can transform. He, it's, it's just, it's wooden. It's wooden. I am not making fun of him. I'm making fun of this video because he could have gotten another take.
Let's be real. Why did you become a trans-vaccinated person? I wanted to be able to go to restaurants, go to movies, go to bars, just like everyone else. Boat I was educated on sank. Then <laughs> get the vaccine! It's so easy. And the Democrats has done a very great job in providing a safe space for people who are vaccinated. Just like what they did back in the days with like a color restroom and a non-color restroom or- What? That- this is a stretch by the way. Just saying, like there's a reason why your kids should be vaccinated when they go to public school. It's not a segregated bathroom, Mary. It's it's so your kids don't get chicken Like uh, the restaurant for colored people and- re Restaurant for colored people? And he is reading off of a teleprompter. You can't tell me he's not. Also the absolute arrogance of these people to claim that they're the new discriminated minority and racial injustice is just as bad. They're the same people who either are Holocaust deniers or claim that this is as bad as them. I'm sorry, but it is not the same, Mary. You can't go to the CVS and un and become un-Jewish to avoid the Holocaust. You can do that here. You just get vaccinated. But they're part of a misinformation campaign that makes them think that they transform into a 5G radio tower when they get vaccinated. And it is, it's, it's hubris at its finest. These people think that their opinion means more. And you know? As great as I am at this, I'm not really necessary. Hmm. The last time I said that, I was in a three-way with two of the Backstreet Boys. No. It is interesting how many people have to dedicate their entire life to just trans people online. Like, it's like those Twitter accounts that all they do is retweet trans people calling them men, calling them ugly, calling them tall. Where is my color? I will have you pre-inspired! I will tell the other gays your real ages! I'll be... Ignored by my friends? Bald, whatever. And it's like, lady, what are you? No one paid any attention to stop ignoring me. Get a life. Like, why do they care so much about owning us? Like, you're allowed to hate us, but like, we're not doing anything to you. Just let us be. Let us live our lives. I'm not saying have sex with me or else you're being transphobic. Some trans people say that, but I'm not saying that. I'm saying leave me the fuck alone, whoever you are. I... Leave me alone dare you, you rotting pear. I will stop being an actress when the earth stops spinning on Kabala Monster's fingernail. I guess what I'm trying to say is this is, even if this is a stupid joke, even if it's just supposed to be funny, there are so many stupid jokes on TikTok that are harmful. And I think that anything that's promoting anti-vax nonsense is harmful. And that's exactly what this is doing. And while they're at it, it's a double whammy because it's anti-vax nonsense and it's like trans people. Remember how dumb they are? Because so many people treat us like a joke and they do not take us seriously. So let's just like not, you know? So if you like this video, if you like videos like this, leave me a comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell because I want to try to out, I want to try to make up for lost time. Like people like this are the ones that have a platform. And the only thing that's stopping is this show. It's beneath me. And from now on, Jenna Maroney only plays dramatic roles. Goodbye forever, you factory reject dildos. I've been inspired. I've been inspired by the people who came before me and I've gotten so many messages of people who say that I'm doing the same for them. So that's what I'm going to do. So you see, you see this, you, you call it out. Happy New Year. Take a breath, count to three. This is a year of change for me.